kindergartners. I hope you're having a good week. I am here to read to you our read aloud for the week. This week I'm going to read Oscar and the Frog, a book about growing. The author is Jeff Warren. Um, this week's essential question is how living things change and grow. So um, this will be the form that you're going to fill out. You can either fill it out for this story or the story Miss Constantine is going to read next. Remember, we need your name, the date, the title of your story. If you choose the story, it will be Oscar and the Frog. The author, Jeff Loring. In the first square, you're going to write what happened in the beginning of the story. In the second square, what happened in the middle. And the third what happened at the end of the story. So draw a picture. You can label the pictures if you'd like with your parents' help. All right, let's get started reading. One spring day by the pond, Oscar saw some creatures he had not seen before. Frog popped up. They're tadpoles, Frog said. I was a tadpole before I grew up. Oscar stared at Frog. He didn't look like a tadpole at all. Don't be silly, Frog, Oscar said laughing. What kind of animal is Oscar? What creatures does Oscar see that he's never seen before? Why doesn't Oscar believe Frog when he says he was once a tadpole? It's true, Frog said, and he told Oscar how frogs grow. At first I looked like a dot in an egg. The egg was as soft as jelly. I grew in the egg and then hatched out as a wriggly tadpole. I could breathe underwater through gills like a fish. I was hungry for pondweed. It helped me grow. How does frog start his life? What hatches out of the egg? Then what does the tadpole grow into? Later, my gills disappeared as I grew lungs to breathe air with. I grew back legs, then front legs, and my tail started to shrink. After three months, I was a little frog. I kicked my new legs and jumped out of the water to live on the bank. What else hatches out of eggs? Oscar asked. They looked in the pond. Frog showed Oscar some eggs that had been laid underwater. Many water snails lay their eggs in pouches of jelly on the stones or plants. Dragonflies often lay eggs on a plant stem just below the water. Fish lay lots of eggs. The perch winds hers in a long thread around plants, twigs, or stones. When I read about how perch lay their eggs, I stopped and I thought about how a thread would look bending in and out of a tree branch. This is what I think perch eggs would look like. They looked on the bank, and Frog showed Oscar some eggs that had been laid where it's dry. Many kinds of butterflies lay their eggs on the undersides of leaves. When the caterpillars hatch out of the eggs, they will eat the leaves. Many birds lay eggs in nests high off the ground. Here the chicks will be safe from animals who might want to eat them when they hatch. Ducks often nest on the ground close to water so their ducklings will be able to swim quickly away from danger. Do plants hatch out of eggs? Oscar asked. No, said Frog. Most plants sprout from seeds. Each plant makes its own kind of seed. The seeds of apple trees are stored inside their fruit. Strawberry plants have small seeds on the outside of their fruit. What is this page about? How are 
are these two seeds different? Poppy plants have tiny seeds. They are light enough to be carried by the wind. Coconuts are the seeds of coconut palm trees. They are huge and can float. Most seeds ripen above ground, but the seeds of the peanut plant grow in the earth. Did I hatch out of an egg? Or did I sprout from a seed? Oscar asked. Neither, said Frog. You were born. You looked a lot like you do now, only much smaller, with fur and paws and ears and a tail. You were hungry for milk from your mother. What do the words tell about what Oscar was like when he was born? What did the picture show? Why was I hungry for milk? Oscar asked. It helped you grow, said Frog. Milk for you, pondweed for me, leaves for these caterpillars, and bugs for those baby birds. We all need different food to grow. What do these pages tell us about the food different baby animals eat? Why do all the baby animals need food? Oscar stretched. I am so big now, he told Frog. But you're not as big as you will be, Frog said. Are you? asked Oscar. Yes, said Frog. I've stopped growing now. I'm as big as I'm going to get. Is Oscar going to keep growing? Is Frog going to keep growing? How long does it take to grow up? Oscar asked. It depends, said Frog. This flower will be full grown in a few days. But this young tree won't be tall until you are a very old cat. What does Frog tell Oscar about the flower and the tree? What does Oscar learn about how long it takes to grow up? When Frog tells Oscar that the tree will not be big until Oscar is a very old cat, I stop and think about how that would look. To me, I see a little tree in the picture as a big tree. I think about Oscar looking like a very old cat. This helps me better understand the time it would take for the tree to grow big. The baby birds will be as big as their parents next spring. But Frog went on, but the tadpoles will take three springs or more to be as big as I am. Each living thing takes its own time. What is Oscar looking at? When does Frog say they will be grown? When does Frog say the tadpoles will be grown? Just then, Oscar saw that his mother was coming. What about me? He asked Frog. How long will I stay a kitten? You will be a full-grown cat by winter, Frog said, as big as your mother is now. Oscar looked at his mother. She was much bigger than he was. Don't be silly, Frog, he said, laughing. It's true, Frog said. Wait and see. Now who does Oscar see? Oscar laughs when Frog tells him he'll be as big as his mother by winter. Why do you think he laughs? Thinking about growing, by the pond, Oscar found out about these things. Beginnings. Living things begin in different ways. Some hatch out of eggs. 
Some sprout from seeds and some are born. How did you begin? On your next walk, look for living things that hatch, sprout, or are born. Food. All living things eat to grow. They need different kinds of food. Pondweed, leaves, buds. What helped you grow when you were very young? What do you eat that helps you grow now? Getting bigger. Living things grow at different speeds. A few days, a few months, a few years, many years. How long will it take you to grow as big as your mother or father? Oscar thinks growing is great. Do you think so too? Today's text was an informational text. Even though there were drawings instead of real pictures, we learned facts about how different living beings grow and change. In this text, at the very end, you'll see what's called an index right here. With an index, you can look up different things such as being born on pages 13 and 24. If you're interested in hatchling, hatching, you can go to page 4, 9, 10, 13, or 24. So if you're interested in a specific part of growing, you can look up what you're interested in and go to those pages specifically to find more information. I hope you enjoyed our story today. I'll see you next week.